We are exactly three months away from the midterms, and President Biden's approval rating is still suffering. A new poll finds only 37 percent of Americans approve of the job that Joe Biden is doing. The president's rating on inflation is even worse. Just 29 percent approve of his handling of inflation. That same poll shows Americans trust Republicans over Democrats on everything from inflation and crime, the economy, and immigration, everything. Joining me now, all morning long, Christian White and, and Michael Lee. Christian, your reaction to all of this. And for Joe Biden, it's his, it's his poor performance in word and in deed. Right, Dagan. I think if you look when Biden went underwater in approvals about a year ago now, especially with the stunning collapse in Afghanistan, the fall of Kabul. But now the pulse is interesting. It's, it's his performance on the economy is almost the same as his overall approval rating, which is deep underwater in the high 30s when you've lost really all of the middle, all of the undecided, all of the independent voters, and you're just down to your partisan base. That's where Joe Biden is. I think it also tells us two things, uh, both dealing with the convention wisdom in Washington being wrong. People are not buying the argument by the White House and the elite financial media that we are not in recession, that times are just fine, that the job market means that everything is great. They're not uh, buying that. And also this line that's been put out that the Democrats are having such great legislative success and that's going to help their popularity. No, that's not the case. If you're trying to fill up the minivan or the F-150 or you're trying to afford dinner out or God forbid a vacation, you're not saying, oh, but at least the semiconductor industry is getting $50 billion in handouts, along with $300 billion in other corporate welfare that had to be passed just to get that. So it's okay. No, that's not happening. So um, what, the Demo what, what is being said about Biden's success is not reflected in polls. Michael, the Democrats are betting that the American people forget that the $2 trillion spending last year is partially responsible for the inflation that they're feeling now that more spending isn't going to keep inflation elevated. They're assuming the American people are dumb and or forgetful. And that's always been a mistake, but they have constantly talked to the American people and treated the American people as if we're all a bunch of rubes, rednecks, hayseeds, and hicks. You know, the basket of deplorables. That's really who we are, that we don't understand basic math and finance. Yeah, Dagan, um, after they did away with the carried interest loophole, taking that out of this last, uh, last bill, it, it could not be more clear as if it wasn't already. The Democrat, it, the Democrat Party is the party of elites. They have a great disdain for the working class, and you hear it all over the place. Oh, gas prices are crushing people. <laughs> Mayor Pete will go out and buy Tesla, get, get, get an extra 50 or $60,000. I'm sorry, if I can't afford an extra 20 or 30 bucks a week to fill my gas tank, how in gosh darn heck am I going to be able to go out and just buy a $50,000 Tesla just like that because gas prices are higher? It's the disconnect now could not be more extreme. Just another note on this poll, uh, they had Democrats weighted four points above Republicans. Uh, Republicans in this, in this midterm turnout are going to be up anywhere from, from two to six over the Democrats in terms of turnout. We will know more after Labor Day when Republicans start picking up the phone and answering, um, answering these polls. So in all likelihood, the numbers are much worse than we just, re uh, just were reflected. And these were horrific numbers, uh, near historic lows on handling of all these interests. It did, uh, who said that a Tesla costs $50,000? Good luck finding it. I mean, it you know, that new Ford F-150, by the way, that Lightning, that thing is like a six-figure automobile. The Teslas around here, like, who, I thought they were running like $80,000. Mike? Uh, model Model 3. You can, get, you can get a Model 3 for somewhere in the $50,000 range, depending on what, what you add to it, what you don't add to it. But, you know, those are hard to get. And uh, you want a Model S or one of the better ones, or you want to add, you know, get the SUV or add some features to it, you're looking at a six-figure price item, which is nothing uh, if you're a McKinsey mm -hmm. consultant disconnected from the world. 
Right. I think that I have to read the details of the bill. I know Rivian was upset that the bill didn't include more expensive electric vehicles because these companies can't like don't couldn't exist without handouts from the government and their handouts directly coming from the American taxpayer. It's just mind boggling.